I want you to understand there are many different people that believe many different things. And one that I need to mention, those that say and believe the Most High is going to gather us. We don't have to do anything. He is going to gather us. He said he would gather us not knowing. They, they, may I add, these people have no idea what that verse means. When he says, I will, I will gather them out of the countries that I scattered them in. They have no idea what the Most High is saying. They think that means stand still and do nothing. When the word came forth to come out of her, they, they still believe we should stand still and do nothing. Those people, they're going to stand there and they're going to do nothing. But the problem is they're going to take others with them. The madness that they're believing in and teaching others that the Most High is going to gather us. That's a word of comfort. That's a word that makes you feel good. That's a word you want to, you're talking about tickling of the ears. That's a word that tickle your ears. The rapture tickle your ears. To, to do nothing and the Most High gather us, spaceships come and get us, that's tickling of your ears. And you don't have to do anything. But is that what the Most High said? Is that what he meant? Let's see this. Jeremiah 51 and 50. Let's see. Who is he talking to? You who have escaped the sword. There are those that will escape the sword. There are those within the borders have escaped the sword. There are those that was in the borders. They escaped the sword and then they went back into her. Looking back taking their hands off the plow, these people are not fit for the kingdom whatsoever. They will not see the kingdom. They will not make it into the kingdom. They should have learned, but instead they followed their camp leaders. Instead, they used YouTube for their pastor. They didn't study for themselves. And now they're back, back in Babylon. You who escaped the sword, get away. See, these people got away. These people didn't say, the Most High is going to gather us. We don't have to do anything. He's going to gather us. These people did what the Most High said. They played their part. Get away. Do not stand still. Somebody is going to tell you. There is YouTubers. They quote, when Yashara was at the sea and Moshe stretched stretch forth his rod. He said, stand still and see the salvation. These people are taking that out of context. And they're telling the people in America, stand still and see the salvation of the Most High. The Most High is saying, do not stand still. Get away. Do not stand still. See, when he told them to stand still and the sea parted, they continued. They got away. They don't teach that. So the Most High is saying, don't just stand there. Do something. This is the verse. This is the verse he's telling us. Don't just stand there. This, Jeremiah 51 and 50, is saying, don't just stand there. Do something. Get away. Do not stand still. And then you have to remember Yahuwah afar off and let Jerusalem come to your mind. We have to do this. If not, our family members will try to get between us, between us and what we have to do. Things will get between us and what we have to do. Our careers will get between us and what we have to do. Our children will get between us and what we have to do. Who is my mother? Who is my father? Who is my brother? Who is my sister? We have to understand this. Yahushua told us, they that do the will of the Father, these are our brothers and our sisters. If my father, if my father, if my brother, if my mother, if my sister, if they are wicked, they don't know the Most High, they don't keep Torah, the Most High look at them as the children of darkness. You see, they're not by blood. They are our family members. But by action, this is it. Not spiritual. Actions. By actions, they are not my brothers. 
They are not my father, my mother, my sister. Our actions are different. We are the sons of the living Alua. We have to know this. We are the sons of the highest. They are the sons they choose to make the enemy their father. You are of your father. That's why he told them. You are of your father, the enemy. And you will do the things the enemy does. It's in your heart. It is in your heart. These rebels, it's in their heart. It's in rebels' heart to go against this channel. It's in rebels' heart to nitpick little things. It's in their heart. If I say the least little thing, it's in their heart to nitpick because they are rebels. Rebels will rebel. That's why they call rebels. They rebel against the word of the Most High. Jeremiah 51, 45. My people, go out of the midst of her. We see this over and over. My people, go out of the midst of her and let everyone deliver himself. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is not that what Torah says? Torah says no one will deliver you. We saw it. None. None shall deliver you. No one. And this is saying, let everyone deliver himself from the fierce anger of Yahuwah. That means we can stand still, right? And the Most High will gather us, right? Hey, is that not what this is saying? See, the wicked's not going to want to break this down. The wicked's not going to want to answer this. They will leave this alone and stick with he's going to gather us where he scattered us. This says... And this is how he gathered us. Let everyone deliver himself. He told us. Okay. Your deliverance coming with a word. The building will be destroyed. Come out of her, my people. Come out of the midst of her. And let everyone deliver themselves because I'm about to destroy this building. If you stay in this building, you will go down with the building. The building is wicked. The building is contaminated. The building is infectious. Is disease, is profane, is defiled. The building is a stitch in my nostril, and you can no longer remain in it. Don't just stand there, do something. I command you to come out of this building. And we're going to have some that says, This building, we can't come out of this building. This building is everywhere. We have others that saying, the Most High put us in this building. He's going to gather us out of this building. Stand still and see the salvation. Then you have others. This story after story after story. This building is spiritual. It's spiritual. He's telling us to come out the building spiritually. Come out of the building ways. Don't do the things that... That the people in the building are doing. Let me tell I said this. These rebels have no answers. I, I'm, I'm coming to understand. All the questions I put forth. None of the rebels can answer them. But they want to nitpick on little small things. Christianity. Let's talk about it. Answer this question rebels. You must answer this question. If we are to come out spiritually. No one answered this question. I've asked this question before and I still to this day have no answers from the rebels. We're in the Christian churches. Let's, let's go back. When we were in the Christian churches, the Most High visited us. He awakened us. We understood that the Christian church was teaching was false, was a complete lie. Why didn't we come out of the Christian church spiritually? The Most High mean for us to come out of that spiritually. You know, Stay in the church. Don't do the things the church doing. Keep law, statutes, and commandments. Stay in the church. Stay a member of the church. But just don't participate in the things the church is doing. You know, we're coming out spiritually, not physically. No, 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 no. Every last camp member believe, every camp and camp member, they believe, they will tell you, come out of them churches physically. Physically, well, what makes Babylon different? Babylon is a physical landmass. What makes Babylon different? Why do we come out of there 
spiritually. Somebody's lying. And somebody is leading others astray. Zechariah 2, 6 and 7. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north. The Most High is telling his people, don't just stand there. The, the Most High people heard these commands. The Most High people heard last command to come out of her. They've heard this. And they are lingering around like lot. And the Most High told his people, don't just stand there, do something. These people have tripped you up. These people got you thinking he's going to gather us. These people got you thinking we are to come out spiritually. These people got you thinking spaceships going to come get us. These people got you thinking the rapture will happen and we will miss tribulation. How is it you don't keep Torah? You don't keep the commandments, but you're going to be raptured out and miss tribulation. The Christian mindset is sickening. It's sickening to your stomach. The camp mindset is sickening. It's sickening to your stomach. Flee from the land. The Most High said, flee from the land of the north. I cannot. I cannot show one verse that says flee from this spiritual place. Why can I find the verse? Why every time I look? In the scripture, it's saying, flee from the land. Flee from the land, says Yahuwah. I have spread you abroad as the four winds of heaven, of Shamaim, says Yahuwah. Deliver yourself. Deliver yourself? Wait a minute. The Most High is going to gather us. Deliver yourself. Wait a minute. We can't come out of her. She's everywhere. Babylon is everywhere. We can't come out of her. Deliver yourself. The rapture is going to happen. We're going to be raptured out of here. Deliver your. Why would he tell us to deliver ourselves when he's going to do a different deliverance? Somebody's lying. And the righteous choose to believe the words that come from the mouth of the Father. And these prophets spoke the words that came from the Father. And none of them. None has spaceships on it. None has rapture on it. And none have this gather. You just sit still and we're going to, I'm going to gather you. It says, deliver yourself, you that dwell with the daughter of Babylon. Isaiah 52 and 11. People think the most high is playing with us. No. No, he's, he's not playing. Depart, depart. Go out from there. Depart, depart. He will not command his people depart from a land, from a place. Depart, depart. Go out from there. Touch no unclean thing. Our people are trying to be baptized in the water, trying to be submerged in the water. You know, they're thinking we, we go down under the water. We come up clean. The water is defiled. They're saying you must go down in the water. You must be immersed in the water. You must be baptized. If most people use the Roman Catholic word baptized, you must be baptized in water before you come out. Where did the Most High say that? Have you seen that anywhere? But yet the camp teaches it. Yet the camp teaches it. The camp. There's only one camp that teach this. They teach you have to be baptized. They use the Roman Catholic word from the Christians because that's what they are. They're pre-Constantine Christians out of their own mouth. And they believe you have to go down under this water in order to come up clean. If that's the case, why is in Ezekiel, we're reading, in the wilderness, the Most High will sprinkle clean water on us to clean us up, to make us completely clean. Somebody once again is lying. Who are you going to believe? You shouldn't have never clicked on these videos. Who are you going to believe? Go out from the midst of her. Be clean. He's telling them to go out from the midst of her. If you don't go out from the midst of her, you can't be clean. You're defiled with her. You who bears the vessels of the Most High. You who bear. You who bear what the Most High has. You who keep the word of the Most High. This is who he's talking to. 